Where would I be without you? That's the question I asked when this man returned from his holiday looking the exact same shade he left. <laughs> knowing me, Zach Thompson, knowing you, Jack Frimston, how are you, sir? How was your holiday? Or if you're watching overseas, vacazione. Wow, I didn't know that you spoke a language. Um, I think I've actually come back paler, as they say in the industry. It rained. Um, I thought a lot about you. I thought a lot about sales. Life is good. I'm alive. Let's get on with the show. <laughs> okay. There's pain there, deep within your eyes. There's pain. You can talk about and it another actually, time. Actually, because... I have got, I have got a bone to pick with you. I have you have got a bone, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got a bone to pick with you. Because uh, I watched a bit of the trench chips that you did on your own, and I thought that you were incredible. I thought you really, really handled it mm. well. Um, you held down the fort. But... Don't. I don't like praise. Move on quickly. But you did say something about my test results, and that annoyed You're me right. because <laughs> I've had the results, and I'd like to share them with everybody. Well, I'll tell you something that happened to me the other day that you're not going to believe. Go on. I uh, emailed a software company and I said, I really love your product. And they emailed back saying, R-T-Y-S-M. How do they know I've got that? <laughs> what? T-Y-S-M. Write it down, mate. You're a bit Oh, slow. right. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> it's a little play on words. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, gatekeepers, gatekeepers, coming out. No, 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 no. Right. Let's talk about the format. We've asked the school community. We've said, let's have some questions, right? Me and Jack come into these. Sometimes we're talking about what our team has said, messages, blah, blah, blah. We want to add a bit more context to that, okay? So people in the school community have got options to say, can you please help me? Here's my questions this week. There's a couple of areas that we're going to focus on, but Jack, the first one... Gatekeepers, yes. <laughs> left, right, and center. They're coming out your ass. They're gatekeepers. Gatekeepers. Okay. So, gatekeepers. Let's talk about them. What is a gatekeeper? Baby, don't hurt me. A gatekeeper is typically someone who is there to field calls, find out their purpose if they're worthy of the decision maker you're trying to get through to is time. Absolutely. They're just there to facilitate that, make sure no one's wasting said time. Hello. I'd like to add <laughs> on to KK. You know what, what? what's one thing that baffles people? And if you listen to this, then you're probably aware anyway, but you might not be. But for a long, long time, I didn't know that you could get data that wasn't gatekeeper da data. Do you know what I mean? So we use, yeah, yeah, and so. we use Zoom info, but actually I used to use one that was a 10 or a month, Sales QL or Lucia. There, there are alternatives out there that are probably cheap. Get it out your own paycheck. Don't worry if your boss says, no, we don't have the budget for it. Invest in it. Just have the odd mobile number or improve your connection rate, your talk rate. You'll get better. You'll get your reps in, whatever. If it is a case of actually these are the people I need to go over, I can't get the mobile numbers. The only way to go is through the gatekeeper. I'll give you my favorite tip is there's ways to handle the gatekeeper, but I always think like how do you play it smart rather than playing it stupid? If you get to a reception or a switchboard and it says press one for reception, press two for finance, press three for marketing, press four for sales. I always think like, right, what is the, what is, where's the back door? Where's the door that no one's showing me? So most people are calling up reception and saying, I want to speak to Dave Smith. And they're going, mm -hmm. huh, salesperson, throw him out the front. Whereas if you go through to finance or a different department, you go, oh, that's not, that's not Zach Thompson, is it? They go, no, 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 no you come through to the finance, Sarah. Uh, I go, oh, sorry. Um, I, I think I dialed um, Zach Thompson's extension. You, you, you couldn't put me through, could you? It's Jack. He's been dead for 10 years. Right, okay. I, I definitely do need to buy some data then. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. The, the, um, the other thing is, like, and I, Jack, I was hoping you might share a story here on this one. A bit of theatrics. We Obviously, we know about your, your background as a severely mentally unwell person. Um, but using that, to its full effect. What was before we had data, before we had Cognizant and Zoom Info and all these great tools, um, we'll put the Instagram handle in the bio. But before we had those, there was a 
company you were trying to get hold of. And I remember you rang someone and just went straight into talking like it was actually them. And they were like, oh, no, 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 it's not. You. But it was like a massive company. And yeah, they put you Kimson. through to them. They gave me the uh, C. They gave bleep, me. Bleep that out. Oh, bleep them out. They gave me uh, John Timpson's mobile number. And I had a conversation. So, how did it work? Give us and the now... story. Give us the story, though. Come on. So, you pick up the phone and you go, you go, Z- Zach, sorry, I've, I've been meaning to get hold of you. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry for not calling you back earlier. And it's a bit of a ramble, but it's sounding like you belong. I sound like I'm in that situation. Zach, so sorry. I've been on holiday. I meant to call you a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no, no, sorry. You've come through to reception. Oh, uh, apologies. Um, can you tell Zach it's Jack? Thank you. Yeah. So I go from chatty, chatty, chatty to, oh, I'm a bit serious now, a bit mysterious, a bit cupid. Shut up. And that's when you shut your mouth. Silence is golden. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The other thing, so Jack's alluding to a point here. There's a thing around, a, I mean, some people might call it a circle of influence. So I remember I was, one of the first clients I had was with, with, with this company was his 50 dream account. So I'm not targeting anyone else but these 50. And I want to speak to... I think it was buying directors or something like that. But typically in massive companies, you've got the director and you've got all these other people that feed into the director in various ways. So actually I'd come in at a level just below and do exactly what you just did and just assume, oh, I thought I was getting through to, to John here. And chances are they're sat in the same office. And they just go, oh, no, no, I'll put, I'll put you straight through. Mm. But I'd actually have rang up to, to, to get... So there's a bit of cloak and daggery Ness with gatekeepers. Another funny one that I once got advised to do is, I think I've told you about this one before, I was working for a very technical company and the advice I got from the CEO at the time was just to absolutely blag the gatekeeper with the most technical jargon ever. When they, when they said, well, what's it about? Oh, it's about uh, intersecting the DYB19 mainframe with the uh, 419 Iron Brew. And they'd be like, uh, I'll, I'll just put you straight through. Yeah, I think I, I love that one. And I actually love Iron Brew, so we'll put his um, Instagram handle Instagram, in yeah. the comments. Um, it, it's always about being a bit cheeky. I think the, the rule is never lie. So does he know, uh, is he expecting my call? Yes, that's a lie. And that's going to remember whatever you do that's a bit cheeky along the way that's going to get you to that point, that, that yeah. it's going to come back to bite you on the ass. Whereas if somebody says, Oh, I've, I transfer, I've, I've got someone on the phone. They're called Jack, but they sound like they know you. All right. They, no, they sound like a friend. All right. Okay. Put them through then. There's no, there's no context. But if they say, oh yeah, he said that, he, he said that you'll be uh, expecting his call. Well, that's just a lie. So I, I never advocate lying. But you can be cheeky. You can be, you can be. Usually what happens is answer the phone. Hello. No, but like ABC Company or whatever. Oh, ABC Company. <laughs> who's that, sorry? ABC Company. No, who's that I'm speaking to? Oh, it's Sarah on reception. Oh my gosh, that was my mother's name. <laughs> no way. Yeah, what are the chances? Um, gosh, you've made me forget where I am. Um, okay, d- sorry, Sarah, I was looking for John. Oh, wow, what a pattern interrupt. You're the guy that goes into a Chinese restaurant, sees a necklace on the floor and says, huh, must have slipped right off your neck. Yeah, yeah. And there's other, obviously other things you can do. There's an old folklore that if you throw a shoe out the window, as soon as you connect with a gatekeeper, it'll come back to you. So obviously try to The shoe try will, that. the gatekeeper. The gatekeeper will get well, back to you in the, two to three that, working days. That's the game you're playing, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay, what's next? It's a great question. I'm so glad you asked me. Um how would you approach calling a prospect you spoke with in the past who didn't have a need? So they didn't have a need. So it probably is going to require some context. And they've put some context, actually. Uh, previous mm, conversations nice. were around hiring, and they didn't have a need, the time, plus struggle, to, uh, usually to get budget. So they've given all these, like, objections. Um, it's, it's probably a case of what can you do in those situations what, when you go into someone and you're calling them back? There are things you could probably do, but I always like to use the phrase, make your bed before you lie in it. Do you know what I mean by that, Zach? I'd like to pad that out. Okay. So, yeah, the, everything is upstream. So, 
what can you do in these situations where you called them before and they weren't interested? I'm sure you'll have some ideas, but but I, what I want to focus on is what can you do in those situations where they're not interested or it's not relevant right now, but you're going to call them back. Well, actually, I want to make sure that when I call you back, you bloody know who I am because these people get hundreds of cold calls. They have lots of conversations. They are going to forget you. So how do you make yourself memorable on that call in that moment so that when you do call back, they go, bloody hell i think there's someone in someone in your team does this really really well and they say um it's a lot like, okay well I, yeah absolutely I, I, I can give you a call back in six months but obviously people are forgetful um so i guess what what's your what's your wife's favorite dinner or something like that close <laughs> she says what's the secret only your wife knows that's it what's the secret only your wife knows and there's a lot of pattern in truck the, the other thing though with this is you've mentioned a great point is I think people are probably getting pretty close to I'm pretty I'm pretty confident speaking to a new person but there's a reluctance with the person who you've spoke to before around mm. how to do it can I do the same pattern interrupt again one easy angle is you actually can do the exact same call again because you're probably the least memorable person in someone's life as a salesperson that spoke to someone 6 months ago so you can just do the exact same thing again that's the easiest answer if you want to hit them with something new and interesting Jack answers that. Jack, you want to answer the phone? ABC Company. No, no, it's Jack this time. <laughs> <laughs> I love fucking with you, bro. Uh, hello, Jack speaking. Jack, it's a dreaded follow up call. It's uh, Zach here. You're either going to tell me, thank God you've called, Zach. There's a greyhound that's just got loose with your name on it, or you're going to say you don't remember me. Uh. You're going to have to remind me. I don't remember you. Sorry. Okay. Okay. I'll remind you. But at the end, don't say I didn't warn you. All right. You listening? I'm listening. Okay. Bang. And then we go straight back in. The dreaded follow-up. I love that as an opener. Just a bit of something cheeky as the opener. And then and then you're going to hit the same problems again. If there's anything in, obviously, people prefer their own words. So if there's anything in what they said last time, that you can then make your script a bit more malleable. And you can just lean on typically inviting them by people who hire in certain windows. Like, oh, maybe they told you that last time. Yeah, that's and good. And as a result... So... Sorry, mate, go on. No, well, I was going to say, so, so Terry Burns said, like, they struggled usually to get budget. So, you, so, Zach, last time we spoke, you told me that you were hoping to hire within January, around January, but you said the CEO never gives you budget. So I've got a feeling you're either going to say... Jack, it's your lucky day. You've called me. I've just got budget signed off. Or actually, the CEO is still a tight fucker and he never give you a penny. Exactly. <laughs> or you're going to tell me budget's an illusion. And actually, if you needed to hire someone badly enough, you could find budget. Wow. You really are Google Translate for twats. <laughs> I am. I am. But look, there's an interesting dilemma at the minute that I want to talk to you about. I've been wearing those glasses for a long time, okay? But I've decided to move on to these. Well, for the people that are listening on Spotify and Apple Music, you are going to be sad. You're giving me a... It's giving John Lennon. Well, hopefully the people who are listening can imagine what I look like. I've been Zach Thompson, and this has been my colleague. We've not fallen out recently, but my God, we'd like to. Take care of yourself. Drive safely.